song I sang as I sat alone. Ages and ages have fallen on me. On the wood and the pool and the elder tree. The room seems too large, too empty, two figures loom, small in the gloom of enveloping black. One is stone overgrown by the moss at his back, one a dark faceless shadow at the end of our track. The hump of their shapes, twisted and burned, cannot be thought human no matter which way you turn. The church grim, Guarder of graves, defender of the dead, omen of nightmare. And a gargoyle. Personification of scarecrow. King among drainpipes. Spouter of waste. Are deep in conversation. Soon the old warlock came home. He was ailing and said so. The girl wept and said, Alas, you are dying. You have a heart in your breast after all. Child, replied the warlock, Hold your tongue. I can't die, for my heart is in the box, swallowed by the bird that flies in the empty church in a lonesome land. Of course, such a church would be a sanctuary. Does he survive? I'm not certain I remember. The stories seem to be vanishing ever more quickly. Do you think, perhaps, the Earl King took it? Oh, the Earl King. Now that's a name we mustn't speak too loudly. Woe betide anyone who meets him down a lonely road. Which version of his story do you remember? An old one. The beat helps. If I can just remember the rhythm. Ah, yes. I have it. Who rides there so late through the night dark and drear? The father it is with his infant so dear. He holdeth the boy tightly clasped in his arm. He holdeth him safely, he keepeth him warm. My son, wherefore seekest thy face thus to hide? Look, father, the Earl King is close by our side. Does he not the Earl King with crown and with train? My son, tis the mist rising over the plain. Wilt go then, dear infant, wilt go with me there? My daughters shall tend thee with sisterly care. My daughters by night their glad festival keep. They'll dance thee and rock thee and sing with your sleep. My father, my father, and dost thou not see how the Earl King his daughters has brought here for me? My darling, my darling, I see it all right. Tis the aged grey willows deceiving my sight. I love thee, I'm charmed by thy beauty, dear boy. And if thou art unwilling, then force I'll employ. My father, my father, he seizes me fast. Full solely the Earl King has hurt me at last. Father now gallops with terror half wild. He grasps in his arms the poor shuddering child. He reaches his courtyard with toil and with dread. The child in his arms finds he motionless. Dead. Excuse me. Ah, it's hideous. Bold and fleshy. What is this creature that has entered with such sneak and presumption? I didn't sneak, and I have a very appropriate amount of flesh and hair, thank you. What is this place? You do not know? It's worse than we thought, Gargoyle. Much worse than imagined. The forgetting is already upon us. This is a crossing path, a betwixt and between. A neverware of dreams, remembering and forgetting. This is the road to the other side of things. Wow. 
What a helpful answer. The palace where memories, stories and tales come here to live, come here to dwell. Higgledy, piggledy, all pell-mell. You stumbled on through the westward door, called a portal to those who speak in the language of stone. This world is not the same as yours. Time is different on the twist of this knife. You move not through space, but through landmarks of life. Moments of strife and events clump together, congregate close, birds of a feather. Right. Um, who are you? If you don't mind me asking, and if you can say it without rhyming. I have no name. My duty is Church Grimm. He started life as a dog, a sweet little thing with a roan-speckled tuft. He sacrificed his life to save his mistress from taking up the mantle. And what thanks did he get? A forgetting. Life's a bitch, eh? <laughs> I guard the graveyard and the dead. I have been here almost as long as the yew tree. And that was there before the building itself. Old you which graspest at the stones, Thy roots are wrapped about the bones. But no more. The trees have stopped speaking, And such things are not safe here. I am Gargoyle. He didn't ask. I protect this space and scare away outsiders with my gruesome visage. You should have seen my teeth. So wonderfully hideous, I could scare away death himself. Not likely. That is until some son of a rain spout thought it would be clever to hit me in the mouth with a ball. I was hanging on until then. Now I feel myself crumbling a little at the edges. Disintegrating. Grim, the warlock story. I can't remember it any more. Oh, no, you will again soon. Someone cannot share. And so the very fabric of our reality is folding. Someone is stealing the stories. Stories like what? Like mine. Like yours. My life's not a story, but I'm not going to argue with a gargoyle. No, I'm looking for my sister. Have you seen her? Who is your sister? Third Alan. Oh, then you must be child. Grim, I remembered something. When a knight won his spurs... In I'm not a child. You misunderstand. In the language of stones, bird is young woman, child young man. He on the brink between squire and knight. It is a good, fitting title. Be proud of it. A child is just who we need. To save us from the forgetting. Save our world from being stolen. He was gentle and brave. He was gallant but and... stolen by who? The Earl King. The Earl King. Sure. Sure. Some say he goes by the name of Merman Rosmer, or Hogan, or that he lives in the Dark Tower. Some say he snatches children from the grip of their parents, and haunts the forest with the vicious fey folk. His favourite prey are girls foolish enough to run Widdishins round a church. Widdishins? But, Bird Allen... Might the old king have taken my sister? I must find her. Did you say the old king lives here, on the other side of things? Yes, to our chagrin. How do I reach him? It is brave of you, child, to offer help to save us from this tyrant. That's not quite what I... But be very sure of what you are offering before you attempt it, child. I'm not a child. Anyone sane should turn Dizel, Sunwise, and return to the right side of things. Most likely, your sister is already there. And if she is not? 
Round the church to ringing bells, you find the world of parallels. But be careful, child. The Earl King resides at the very end of our world, past five keystones of life through which you are hurled. The Earl King lives beyond death. He demands a tithe from anyone who wishes enter his domain. Bring him part of the stories you seek, and he may, just may, be willing to speak. A tithe? Uh, like a tax, but in stories? Be warned, child. I'm not child. The Earl King's greed leaves this world so cracked. Each keystone holds but one story intact. These you must take, tis the Earl King's price, but just this, my child, will not suffice. Fail this quest, and the stories will fall. Defeat means your capture, and dooming us all. I will go. Wait. You need a story from here for the Earl King's gate. I offer mine freely. My soul, you must scythe. A forgetting for now, succeed and I'll thrive. Take my story, turn Widdershin straight, and in this way I'll help you change fate. And though back into Storyland, giants have fled, and the nights are no more, and the dragons are dead.